Welcome back. In this video, we will be looking at expected, a type that was added to the standard library as of C++23. Expected is essentially a specialization of a variant. Unlike a variant which can hold many types, expected only holds two. The first type is the expected type. In other words, the type we expect to get if no error has occurred. The second type is the unexpected type. We get this type if something went wrong and describes the error. Expected attempts to address the readability issue of variants since it is specifically designed to be used for error reporting. Now we can both distinguish between different errors and the contents of the file are protected against accidental access. And all this in a rather readable way. It also has some cool functional features that make it a very powerful tool. On the downside, as of the beginning of 2024, the compiler support for expected is rather poor. Expected as a specialization of a variant exhibits a similar behavior but with some sprinkles on top. Here we have an expected where the expected type is an integer and the unexpected type is a string. If we set the value of 10 to it, then we have set the expected value. This means that has value will return true and value will return the value of the integer we set. Instead of has value, we may also use it directly in an expression as a boolean. Moreover, we can dereference it to get the value. Next, if we set an unexpected value to it, then has value will return false. Note how we use the unexpected utility class to set the unexpected value. To get the unexpected value, we can use the error member function, trying to access the expected value when an error has been set results in an exception being thrown. As we can see, expected has some protection mechanisms against accidental access. Let's list them. First, accessing the expected value via the value member function when an error has occurred results in an exception being thrown. Then, accessing the unexpected value via error when no error has occurred results in undefined behavior. Finally, dereferencing when an error has occurred also results in undefined behavior. Expected has some cool functional features. Let's go over them. Aside of the value or function that returns the expected value or some other default value, we get some monadic operations. First, we have and then. And then is invoked if the expected value is currently set. It supplies the expected value as an argument to the provided function and returns the result of that function. If the expected value is not set, and then does nothing and returns the unexpected value. On the other hand, or else is invoked if the expected value is not set. The unexpected value is supplied as an argument to the provided function and returns the result of the function. Similarly, if the expected value is set, or else does nothing and returns the expected value. You can chain these functions together to create a pipeline of operations. I strongly recommend that you experiment with the monadic functions so that you can understand them better. All right, enough with the theory, let's go back to our example. As far as a read file is concerned, things look pretty simple. If there is an error, we return the error code as an unexpected value. If everything went well, we return the contents of the file. On the caller side, we can use the has value to check if the expected value is set or not. Then we can use value to access the contents of the file. In case the result contains an unexpected value, we end up on the else branch of the if statement. We can fetch the error code using error and handle the error. In this part, we looked at returning an expected of an error code and the contents of the file. Expected was in fact created to address the different issues we explored with all the previous techniques, 
plus the readability issues of the variant. The main drawback is that as of the beginning of 2024, the compiler support for it is still rather poor. Of course, you can always get some nice open source versions of it. With expected, we can distinguish between different errors, protect the contents of the file against accidental access, and we get some cool functional features that make it a very powerful tool.